right now on the U of A campus. About 5,000 students have moved in, but 30,000 are expected in a few weeks. And with so many people, what's the school's plan to keep both the university and the greater population safe from the spread of COVID-19? Our Claudia Rupsic is live in Tucson, and Claudia, they have spent months just working on safety plans. And part of that right now is testing. We're at the North Rec Center here, where part of it has been converted into a rapid testing site. This is one of two places on campus where students can, in about an hour, find out if they have COVID-19. As of this morning, the university had administered 8,340 tests. 27 of those came back positive. The University of Arizona is welcoming back students in phases. The first week, hands-on courses like research labs, medical courses, and fine arts studios will meet in person. 14,000 students are expected the week after, then 30,000 after Labor Day. It's been kind of nice. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to get back in the swing of things. Uh, really nice to see all my friends. The university put up large tents on campus for studying, eating, even outdoor workouts. Hand sanitizers are outside every entrance and inside every classroom. And masks are required inside all buildings and outside when you can't social distance. I personally don't want to go back home and I want to be here for as long as possible. So I like how they're doing everything in their power to make sure that we stay safe and healthy. So I feel pretty safe as of right now. More than 5,000 students had to be tested before moving into the dorms. The university has developed the rapid diagnostic antigen test that gives results back in as quickly as an hour. Students and employees are encouraged to get one for free when they return to campus, but testing is not required. It was really quick, really easy, and the results came back in like maybe an hour and a half-ish. University researchers are also testing sewer water from dorms. Once a week, we're testing 20 sites around our dorms that we can pull sewer water, and it can tell if the COVID virus is in there seven days before it shows up. And then that can lead us to look at that dorm a little further and maybe additional testing. University leaders are restricting large gatherings on campus. They're also working with fraternities and sororities to follow safety protocols. Ultimately, though, they say it's up to the students to do their part. Part. You can have the best laid plan. If all the protocols aren't followed, there's going to be some challenges. And that's why as a Wildcat Nation, we have to come together. And starting today, U of A started posting online how many tests they have administered and the positive cases that they have had. They're also doing antibody testing, but only those are only allowed for now just for employees. Reporting live at the U of A campus, I'm Claudia Rupsich, ABC.